Hey, welcome back to All About That Disney Life. I am Danny B, the girl who is all about that Disney life. The next movie we will be talking about is The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, which came out in 1949. This is the last film of the fantasy film package that Walt Disney created during the 1940s. So let's get to know the cast of this incredible movie. We had J. Thaddeus Toad Esquire, played by Eric Bloor, Cyril Proud Bottom was played by J. Pat O'Malley. The prosecutor and the news announcer was played by John McLeish. Mr. Mole was played by Colin Campbell. Agnes McBadger was played by Campbell Grant. Mr. Rat was played by Claude Allister. The narrator of the Mr. Toad segment was played by Basil Rathbone. The judge and weasel number one was played by Leslie Denison. Weasel number two, the policeman and the court clerk were played by Edmund Stevens. Mr. Winky, the jailer, and the postman were played by Alec Harfon. And we also had some singers in the Mr. Toad segment. They were Betty Bruce, Charlene Lacey, Mary Motor, Michael Morgan, Sally Mueller, Colin Sly, and Pauline Sly. But wait, there's still more cast members. We have another segment of this movie that we need to get to know the cast for The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. We have Bing Crosby, who was the narrator, Ichabod Crane, and Brom Bones. The Rhythmiers played the Sleepy Hollow Villagers. Pintel Kolvig was Daredevil, Brom's horse, and Ichabod Crane's vocal effects. Clarence Nash played Gunpowder, that's Ichabod's horse. Gloria Wood and Luli Jean Norman were singers in this segment. J. Pat O'Malley Jr. played Katarina, and Billy Bleacher played the Headless Horseman. Now we get down to all the fun facts about the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Number one, this is the last film of the musical fantasy film package, as I said earlier. So this movie is the final one of the musical fantasy package, as I have said, and Disney Studios would not release another movie package until The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which came out in 1977. Number two, the story of Mr. Toad. The story of Mr. Toad is based on a children's novel, The Wind in the Willows, by British author Kenneth Graham, which was published in 1908. It takes place in London, England, United Kingdom between June 10th, 1907 and January 1st, 1908. Basically, the storyline is, I'm not going to explain it all because it's just a lot of detail. It's about Mr. Toad, who is all about adventure, and he never cares about how much his passion costs him, literally. He is the owner of Toad Hall Estate, who is very close to bankruptcy. His obsession with any type of motor or transportation is getting more and more out of hand. And the adventures of Mr. Toad were supposed to be a full-length movie when Disney bought the film rights in April 1938. Number three, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Once again, this segment was based on a story. It's based on the short story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by American author Washington Irving, which was published in 1820. It's about a new schoolmaster named Ichabod Crane who is coming home from a Halloween party after hearing the tale of the headless horseman who rides on Halloween night in search of a new head. And the way to escape the Headless Horseman from meeting him in the spooky woods, you have to cross a covered bridge. Number four, combining two stories. The story of the wind in the willows or the Mr. Toad story was supposed to be paired with the Legend of Happy Valley and the Gremlins into a package idea called Three Fabulous Characters. The Gremlin storyline wasn't really taking off that well, so that idea got cut. So then it was a new title to be called Two Fabulous Characters. Then The Legend of Happy Valley, now known as Mickey and the Beanstalk, was removed to be paired with the story of Bongo in the movie Fun and Fancy Free. Walt wanted to do a version of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow 
around December 1946. And in late 1947, Walt decided to pair the Wind in the Willows story and the Legend of the Sleepy Hollow story into a single film package because neither one of those two stories were long enough to be full-length feature film. Number five, the box office and an award. This movie made $1,200,000 in rentals in the United States and Canada. It earned $1,625,000 worldwide in rentals. It won the Golden Globe Award for Best Cinematography in Color in 1950. Number six, the releases. Mr. Toad was released on TV as a part of the inaugural season of the Disneyland Anthology series on February 2nd, 1955, under the title The Wind in the Willows. It was paired with The Reluctant Dragon because both of those stories were written by Kenneth Graham. Ichabod premiered on TV on TV's Disneyland on October 26, 1955, under The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. For this version, a new 14-minute animated dialogue was added about Washington Irving's life. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow released on its own in theaters in September 1963, and The Wind in the Willows was re-released in theaters in 1978 with the new title, The Madcap Adventures of Mr. Toad, to accompany Disney's feature film, Hot Lead and Cold Feet. Number seven, references at Disney Parks. There is a Sleepy Hollow Refreshment Cafe in Liberty Square at Magic Kingdom. There is also a restaurant called the Toad Hall Restaurant in Fantasyland at Disneyland Paris. There is also a Mr. Toad's Wild Ride that is in Fantasyland at Disneyland California. The Headless Horseman makes an appearance in the Frightfully Fun Parade during Oogie Boogie Bash at Disney California Adventure Park. The Headless Horseman also makes an appearance before the Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Parade, and that is true. I saw him two times when I went to Disney during Halloween. Number eight, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. As I have mentioned, there is a Mr. Toad's Wild Ride in Fantasyland at Disneyland California. It opened when the park opened on July 17th, 1955, and it remains there to this day. But Danny B., wasn't there one at Magic Kingdom when it opened? Of course there was. It was there when the park opened on October 1st, 1971. On the ride, you take on the role as Mr. Toad when you drive crazy, and I do mean crazy, along the English countrysides and in London. The ride got updated over the years at Disneyland with new gags, scene details, and technical improvements. The one in Magic Kingdom is no longer there, though. In October of 1997, there were rumors going around that the Mr. Toad Wild Adventure rides at Magic Kingdom at Disney World would be closed to make room for a new ride. And on August 27th, 1998, Walt Disney World announced that Mr. Toad's Wild Ride would be closed on September 7th, 1998 to make room for the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which came out on June 4th, 1999, and it remains there to this day, and it is my husband's favorite ride. There are tributes to Mr. Toad on the many adventures of the Winnie the Pooh ride, though. There are pictures of Mr. Toad and Mole around the attraction somewhere. And at the Haunted Mansion at Liberty Square at Magic Kingdom, there is a statue of Mr. Toad in the Pet Cemetery. So there you have it, all the facts all about the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you have a zippity doo da day. Goodbye.